Okay, so next I'm going to kind of show you how to configure the Race Capture Pro and how mine is specifically configured. Uh, all you have to do is connect the uh, mini USB cable to uh, your laptop or desktop or whatever you're connecting it to. Uh, this is the Windows application. Uh, it looks identical to the tablet version on Android. So I'm going to just go ahead and get into the configuration now. So here's where you'd configure what race tracks you want in the system so it knows to auto start and stop on the starting lines. Or you can make your own with coordinates as well as sectors, but uh, I don't want to spend too much time talking about race track configuration. Uh, there's GPS options and how what timing options and everything you want, but I'll talk about the analog sensors. There's eight analog inputs on this device, the Race Capture Pro. One of them is tied up for internal battery, so you can read voltage. Um, so that gives you seven wired 5 volt inputs you can use. I've added fuel pressure, oil pressure, oil temperature, air fuel ratio, coolant, boost, and TPS. So fuel pressure and oil pressure, I, they're simple sensors, uh, pressure sensors I bought from eBay. They're both stainless steel. Fuel pressure is 100. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's a 100 PSI sensor, oil pressure is 150. I entered the scaling values that were with the device, I set a sample rate, 10 hertz, um, and just mapped them. And immediately once you do that and have them wired up, then you know you, you begin to see your values on your, on your dashboard. And then, same thing with oil temperature, this one is actually an AEM uh, temperature gauge and the scaling values are available from Autosport Labs because they they've used this sensor multiple times. AFR um, I used the scaling that came with the AMX Wi-Fi unit and I just tapped off the um, the 5 volt output. Coolant boost and TPS were a little tricky because I actually tapped these wires at the ECU I'm going to be replacing these because I really want these three inputs back for other other variables that I could definitely look at um, once I once I switch to CAN. Um, so I'm not going to talk about these too much, but I, I do have these sensors available. Pulse, this is where you'd configure um, RPM, like if you have a, if you tapped your coil packs or something like that, uh, or an other digital signals like, um, uh, what is that, the Zitronic sensor for ethanol content, which I do plan on getting one of those soon so I can have ethanol percentage available to me on my digital dash. There are inputs and outputs. I'm using three outputs. This is output one, two, and three are what drive my shift X, the shift light here I have. Um, there's tab four accelerometer and gyroscope. I didn't spend any time talking about those. You can read the manual if you really care that much. But uh, the rest of the configuration is all straightforward. Uh, I do have Canvas on finally. I'm using an OBD2 cable connected to the race capture unit, which is how you're seeing RPM here. Um, and you just turn on CAN. This is using the standard method PIDs. Uh, this is actually the slowest way to do it. I'm working with Brent Picasso, the owner of Autosport Labs, and trying to get a little bit more specific Evo 10 stuff in here, either Mode 23 or Racks Fast Patch. Uh, that way you don't have to use the standard PID OBD polling, um, and we might be able to get much faster, better data. And we might have a, our full sensor list, which is why I want to replace TPS boost and coolant. Um, if I could get those three back, then I can add something like EGT or uh, you know some other sensors that are valuable. And then this is the scripting interface. What you can do here is this is kind of like a simplified programming language, uh, and you can turn your shift lights on if like a, if you hit a certain condition and. You could get pretty complicated with this as well. I was trying to do a little bit of stuff um, with reading CAN, CAN bus items. Um, and then as far as this software, this has a dashboard just 
just identical to the uh, Android system as well. I think this even has a little bit, it lacks that Bluetooth lag, so it's even faster. So I know uh, somebody on Boosted Forum Clint asked me if it works on other devices that aren't Android. So I'm going to blip the throttle. Hopefully you should be able to hear it and see, like I have TPS selected here. So you'll see if there's a delay at all. So, I mean, I'll hit it now and then it's pretty instantaneous and drops back. So um, that's really about it. I think uh, I don't have that much more to share. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, you'll just have to hit me up on the forums. Thanks.